Hello everyone, this is Jim Lewis from Model Train Technology. I wanted to share with you a little project we worked on for a customer. Uh, the customer asked us to put together two sensors, some crossing signals, and our signal controller, <clears throat> and wire it all up and send it to them pre-wired so they could just put it out in the layout. And uh, they're not very uh, technical on the wiring and they, they thought this would be a great way to do it. So what we did is we just took one of our shipping boxes and I'm going to open this up in just a second, but uh, we put a double track. This is HO scale, uh, each of our two precision sensors on either side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide a couple of other packing boxes next to it and put some Kato HO track. And I've got a little gondola here, which I will uh, work on and get on the wheels. There we go. And as you can see, I, as soon as I cross in front of the gate, the lights go on. This is set for about a 10 second delay. So as the train comes from the east side, or let's call it the, well, let's call it the west side because it's on the left and you'll see the, the flashes go off. So that's 10 seconds. Uh, you set the timing, the time off at the precision sensor. There's a timeout on each one of these. They're about 10 seconds each. They, it's almost impossible to get them exact, uh, but it shouldn't matter because what will happen is uh, these will be spread out on your layout. You want to make them close enough so that your shortest train is in, in front of one or the other at any time as it comes through. Uh, but as the car hits the first one, the sensor is hit and the lights go on. And so the train is going, train is going, train is going. Now let's say this is the last car. It passes the last sensor and it's still on this sensor. So the lights will continue to flash until it passes the last sensor. And so now we're gonna move it out so you can count to 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and there it goes. So that's coming from east to west, and then we just did from west to east. So it's the same, same routine either way. Uh, very simple uh, kind of setup. And uh, electrically, it's really darn simple. The hardest part is connecting the, the signals themselves. So I'm gonna take this track and the car off, and we'll open up the box and we'll take a look. So inside the box, are just uh, really just two components. Our power module, which can power um, a dozen or so uh, signal controllers and lights and so forth. So we've got one power module uh, connected to our standard power supply. We have a signal controller. This is set up for uh, anode polarity, so the common positive, because the, the blocks, the uh, flashers that we got from China, almost every one of them has a common positive side. So you connected and they gave us these little connectors and so I just connected them up. Common is the first one on the right and then the, joined the, the two sides of the flasher for red and yellow on the signal controller and I can adjust the speed but simply from the sensor, the sensors are both powered, there's the red cord here, okay so that's powering the sensor. Uh, then you can see the one yellow signal wire from each sensor they're connected to together to the signal controller. So when either one of them goes, it fires off the signal controller, uh, which is in now in flashing mode. Uh, there are 10 different mode styles that you can work with, and uh, all you do is push this button on top the number of times of the mode setting. But it's super simple, same power. And on the power module, uh, we made this as simple as we can. Uh, 18 volt standard power supply, you can do as low as 12 volts, it'll still work just fine coming in to the power module. And then we have a row of connectors. Any two adjacent connectors will power any system and you don't have to do them in order. So uh, these could be reversed, they could be in the middle here, any two adjacent terminals is, is good enough to power. You don't have to go in even pairs. You can if, if that makes your life simple uh, in terms of organizing what's there, uh, but any two adjacent terminals connected up, uh, they don't have to be in order and a very, very simple setup. And we put it in a box and uh, well, what we're gonna do is to ship it, uh, we're gonna turn off the power module, disconnect, take the power cord out and we are going to ship it to the customer by putting it into the box, 
with some peanuts and off to the customer. So there you go. That's the uh, all set, ready, ready to run.